Meredith. Hey, Laurie. Hey, Laud, what are you all doing? Well, we were just having just a little quiet kind of prayer meditation time out here this morning. Yeah, it's so beautiful out. <gasps> Me too. I'm on my front porch and I was just having a little quiet time here at this point of the day. I needed a little moment to, to settle my spirit and have a moment with God. I'm telling you, it's been a day already. Wow. Yeah, that we were doing it at the same time. That's so cool. That is cool. Yeah, oh, good idea. I well, Lot is the smartest lamb, that's for sure. Well, welcome everybody to Celebrate Wonder. Of course, I'm Pastor Meredith, our lead pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. And I get to be here with Miss Laurie, who's our director of children and youth ministries, and Laud the Lamb. And it is uh, Celebrate Wonder, and we are going to be using our materials for week three. Count them. Week three, three. One, two, three. So get your all your stuff out that says week three on it. We're excited to have you join with us today for our time of learning and worship and singing and prayer. Yeah. Well, should we go to our wonder table? Yeah, we probably should. Let's get to wondering. I'll see you in just a minute, everybody. Hello, everybody. We are back at our wonder tables. I came inside. It's getting a little windy. Um, so we're at our wonder table. And the first thing that we do is we light our candle, not the lamb. Let's see how it goes. Some weeks are better. Oh, I think, I think it might work. Did you have a good week? Oh, no. We believe in you, Miss Laurie. Yay. Mm -hmm. So we have that. And again, we are at on week three. three. You know, it's kind of neat that we were both praying and having some of that kind of quiet time with God when we started up because we're going to be talking about prayer today. You know, um, Jesus often went outside to pray and that's where we were today. Are there places that you especially like to pray, Miss Laurie? I like to pray when I take a walk. Sometimes I pray when I'm in the car by myself. Sometimes I like to pray in the shower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I found myself doing all of those things too. I was thinking about sometimes uh, I like to pray with my family when we sit down and have a meal together. Mm -hmm. It's one of the times yeah. I like to pray. And sometimes I know that I like to pray when I'm laying down in my bed. I bet a lot of our kiddos do that too. Mm -hmm. I know we always have had a bedtime prayer routine. Yeah, that's a great time to have some prayer and a great place to do it. What kinds of things do you and Laud pray about when you're praying? What do you share with God? A lot of times I share with God my worries and concerns. I should probably share with God more of my joys. Mm. Yeah, but I, I share my worries and concerns. Mm-hmm. I do the same thing often, share what I'm worried about, what I'm concerned about for myself, for my family, for other people, mm -hmm. for the world, my questions I might have about my day. Oh, yeah. I do that too. Well, you know, today our Bible story is from Luke chapter 22, verses 39 through 46. And we hope that you and your family together will read that from the Bible. Again, Luke chapter 22, verses 39 through 46. And we're going back a little bit in our story right before the first Easter when Jesus knows that he is about to be killed. He's on his journey to his death. And he um, is having lots of emotions about that, as you can imagine. And while his disciples sleep, Jesus goes out and he spends time in prayer and he goes to pray. He's searching for comfort. He's searching for guidance in the midst of all of these overwhelming feelings and his fear and his worries and all of those things. We find in our Bible story that Jesus is sharing all of his emotions with God and that we can share our emotions with God too. Prayer is a wonderful way to do that. Uh, our video is going to explore that with us today, and we hope that after you read um, the Bible story together, that maybe you'll use your wonder cube, and you can roll these and have some wonder questions that you want to share together about uh, with that. 
But uh, this has made me wonder, you know, Jesus in the Bible story that you read and that we'll hear more about in the video, he speaks aloud his prayers. But I know sometimes I like to pray out loud and sometimes I like to pray in my head. Mm -hmm. Do you think God can hear you both ways? What do you think, Miss Laurie? I think he can. I hope he can because I pray a lot in my head. Mm. I yeah. think so too. Mm -hmm. Law degrees. Law degrees. Yeah. Yeah. In your head too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes we spend time praying with other people too and praying for other people. Why do you think it's important to support one another through prayer? That's a good question. I wonder. Hmm. That's a good wonder question. You know, I think it's one of the ways that um, we get connected up with one another, even when we're not maybe in the same place, that somehow in that wonderful relationship of prayer with God and with each other, that really connects us and we are able to support each other and um, bring all of the things that we have to God. Oh, Lon says he prays with donkey a lot. Mm. Yeah. That's a great thing, Laud. You, I'm so glad you and Donkey have each other for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we should get ready to watch our video that is coming right up. So getting close so everybody can see that. But why don't we have a prayer together before we head into that? That's a good, great idea. Let's do it. Okay. okay. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for showing us. Thank you for showing us. How to pray. How to pray. Amen. Amen. All right, let's watch our video. Hi, friends. I'm Abigail. In our story today, Jesus goes to a garden to pray. Jesus was having a really hard time. Even though we know that Jesus was awesome and did amazing things, he had some really hard days too. When he went to the garden, he had a lot on his mind and a lot going on around him. Jesus needed a place where he could focus and spend time with God without a lot of noise or lots of people around. Jesus talks to God and tells God how scared and upset he is. He doesn't hold back anything because he knows God cares about all of it. Even though you can pray anywhere, it's nice to have a place that is special to you and a place where you know you can focus on God. Jesus teaches us that being in a relationship with God means that we tell God hard things too. God can handle our sadness, pain, frustration, and anger. God cares about us so much that God wants to know what is going on in our lives and how we are feeling about everything. When we remember how Jesus prayed, we can follow His example and talk to God about whatever we want. When my grandfather died, my whole family was really sad. One night, I woke up and heard my mom talking and crying. I went downstairs to see her and saw that she was praying. I heard her say, God, I am really sad. This is so hard. She showed me that we don't only pray to say thank you, but we also talk to God when things are hard. When I got back to my room, I decided to pray too. I was sad and remembered I could talk to God about my feelings. Friends, you can talk to God about anything. There is nothing too big or too small. There is nothing that is too hard for God to hear. Maybe you lost a grandparent like me, or you're having a hard time in school, or you're just having a bad day. God is there to talk about it. We all have hard times and get upset. Whatever is going on, Jesus shows us what to do. Go. Talk to God about how you are feeling. Now, it's time for you to wonder. Hi everyone, it is time for our activity. In your packet, you have a piece of paper that says week three prayer. Now, on this prayer, you can use your colored pencils or crayons and you can decorate it if you would like. But we're gonna spend just a little bit of time with this prayer. And it asks you to go outside with this prayer and have a little quiet time like Pastor Meredith and I were doing earlier. And then with this prayer, 
going to recite this together. So once you have this, here we go. When I'm feeling happy, when I'm feeling sad, when I'm feeling silly, and even when I'm feeling glad, I can talk to God. Amen. It's just a really nice little prayer to remember. That no matter what, you can talk to God. So spend some time with your prayer outside this week. Thank you, guys. Hi, grownups. It's time for our spiritual practice for this week. And we've been talking about feelings and emotions and prayers and sharing all that with God. And, you know, we know that feelings are complicated and that in hard situations, we all react in different kinds of ways. But we also know that our emotions and our feelings can be teachers for us, that they can teach us what we want and what we need uh, when we're paying attention and we're paying attention to what God is saying to us through those. So I'm going to invite you this week that when you are feeling an emotion, that you place your hands on your chest or heart and then say what that emotion is that you're feeling. And use this phrase, you can say, when I feel sad, I can share with God. And when I am feeling sad, I know that God will be with me. Or maybe you can say, when I feel happy, I can share with God. And when I am feeling happiness, I know God will be with me. Or maybe when I feel anxious, I can share with God. And when I am feeling anxiety, I know God will be with me. Amen. I invite you to practice using that phrase this week to um, help you work with those emotions and to hear what God is saying with you and trust in God with your prayers this week. Thanks so much. Okay. We have our celebration chart, guys. Don't forget, as a family, to be marking things off as you get them done. It's just a nice reminder for the week your celebration chart and I think we have a full body prayer is what I saw we do so yeah. we're we are so glad that everybody has joined us for celebrate wonder today and working together on prayer and we hope that you pray a lot this week and for our closing prayer we have a wonderful prayer that we hope you'll do Every single day, you can do it as a family together with your household. You can do it first thing in the morning when you get up. It's so easy to do. So we encourage you to use it every, um, every day. And it's in all of your Celebrate Wonder materials as well. So the way we're going to greet God every day is by this. Raise your hands up in the air and say, good morning, God. Good morning, God. And then hold your arms out wide like this. And say, thank you, God, for another day. Thank you, God, for another day. Amen. Amen. Well, let's do it again. So hands up in the air. Good morning, God. Good morning, God. Thank you, God, for another day to serve. Thank you, God, for another day to serve. Amen. Amen. I think you all can remember that prayer really well. That's our faith word for today. And we hope that you remember to pray and what a gift that is for everybody in our relationship with God. So thank you for joining with us today. Remember to stick around for a few minutes uh, here for uh, our music video. It's remember your love. So Bob, let's, loves Bob loves to sing. So let's sing and we'll see you next time. Thanks everybody. Bye.
Remember your love